The reason why I like this dress is because I really want to replace my Alexander Wang dress because I really don't feel comfortable wearing Alexander Wang, you know, if you if you know, you know. With Rick pieces, I feel like it's going to give exactly what it gives on the model, for sure. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. <gasps> yeah. And if you don't know, every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, your girl is coming at you with content. I don't know why I tried to do that to that word. Content. In today's video, we are going to be going through my spring, summer little wish list, y'all. This video is going to be cute and sweet because I don't have a lot of things that I desire. I'm more so wanting to wear what I already got, if you know what I mean. A couple videos ago, though, I did post uh, my, like, spring, summer shoe wish list. So I'll link that video up in the cards in case you want to check that out. But for the most part, I'm going to be going over clothing options that I think are just everything for the summertime. Oh, and before we get into this video, please, y'all, do not forget to smash the like button if you do like this video midway through. You're like, oh, I like it. Smash the little like button, okay? It's free and it helps your girl out in the long run. So everything we're gonna be talking about is going to be on Essence.com. I think Essence got better with their shipping too, y'all. I feel like the shipping only get crazy around like the holiday, but now they don't got no sale or nothing. Well, actually they just had 15% off, which I missed. But yeah, right now they don't got no huge sales, so stuff be coming fast. Like I ordered um, my like 1977, my little essentials, little jogger suit with the, the shorts and the jogger. Anyway, it don't even matter what I got. But I say that to say that it came in like two days, which is what I'm used to when ordering from Essence. But on the holiday, hopefully this holiday they get it together. Because, whoo! The first thing that I have on my wish list, you guys, is this little Peter Doe viscose little tank top. Now, this is actually from the quote-unquote men's section, but I love it for me, okay? I feel like, I'm one of those type of people, I feel like all clothing is unisex. If it works, it works. If you feel good in it, it works. So, I love a little halter situation. The only halter that I own currently, sad to say, is a Forever 21 little halter that I've had for literally like five or six years, but it does a little job of, as a halter should do. So, I be wearing it every summer. But anyway, I feel like it's about time I get me a nice, you know, little halter, saying that it's something that I like to wear every summer. Also, I feel like a halter top is just a very classic silhouette, never really goes out of style, so. Yeah, love her. And also, it's in black. I mean, how could you go wrong with a black little halter? I feel like you could put it on with literally anything. A little mini skirt, you know, a little jog, your little baggy little pant. Anything. 80% viscose, 20% polyamide. So, I guess, I guess viscose, which is, I think, comes from, like, tree pulp. So, that's good. But polyamide, obviously, is a synthetic. But anyway, I think that it's okay for this little top. I feel like for it to give what it's supposed to give, it needs a little stretch to it. Just so it can be, like, super tight to the body. And then I have this little jock mousse, little polo top. I just really like little tops that show off the little midriff area. I own a dress by Jock Moose, I own a shirt by Jock Moose, and I still have them, I still wear them, so I feel like the quality of Jock Moose pieces are decent. But um, yeah, I really like this polo because I can see it being super versatile in a wardrobe. I love how the back, it has like a little back cut out. I think that is such a little sexy detail. And you know, and an, also an unexpected detail to a polo, because I feel like polos are typically like, I don't know, like covered everywhere and just like the little collar. So yeah, I like this one. I think that this could be worn obviously with the coordinating skirt, but also I'm seeing it with like a little baggy type of a jean and maybe a sneaker or maybe my little Bottega, a little mule I can see it with. So I think that this is a piece that could be also very versatile in a wardrobe, can be dressed up or down, can be worn in the day or night. And it's 70% cotton, 20% polyamide, so again, a little stretch so it can give like that little tight look to it, which I really like. Then I have this little Rick Owens dress, y'all. I just love this dress. I love that it looks like leather, but also like silk. Like it looks like a lot of things. I feel like this dress is such a classic little Rick piece to have. I also have another Rick dress, which I absolutely love. Another piece I wear every freaking summer. So I feel like I, I would wear, I should get another one. Because I feel like, I don't know, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. But I feel like if you have something that you love so much, it's really best to buy like two of them. Or, you know, if not two of the same, two, one in one color and another in another color. Because if you love it, you feel good in it. 
you should want to, I don't know, have another one so you just don't wear that one one down. But anyway, this one's also a viscose elastane blend. Fits super tight to the body. And one thing about Rick pieces, I feel like other brands, you may see it on the model and you may get it and you may get like that scenario of how that, what they be saying like uh, the model versus in real life. With Rick pieces, I feel like it's gonna give exactly what it gives on the model for sure. I say that to say you don't really have to think much when it comes to buying Rick. Like if you want it, obviously the price is, it, it factors in, but as far as like fit quality, like it's check check. And this dress is priced at three ninety five, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like I would definitely pay three ninety five for this dress, only because again I own several Rick pieces, and I know that the quality will sustain over years to come. And then I also had these little cargo pants by this brand Story MFG. I don't know much about this brand, but I'm gonna see what they say about them on Essence. It was launched in 2013. It's a UK-based brand. Um, much of its collections in India, working with artisans who dye, weave, embroider, and tailor the garments by hand, period. So yeah, you see a lot of colors with this brand, a lot of like patterns with this brand, um, like oversized fits, at least what that's what it's given on Essence. But anyway, these little cargo pants really caught my eye, mainly because Cargos, I feel like it's also another essential piece in the wardrobe, mainly because a cargo is so many different ways you can style cargos. Also, cargos typically have like a lot of pockets on them. So on a day that you don't want to wear a purse, you don't have to because you can put everything in a, you know, huge little pockets. So I have a cargo that I've had for several years and I feel like I kind of want to implement another one. And I feel like this one is different enough from the one that I already have. It's a little bit of a lighter green. And also is given the cargo pockets. I love like the boxiness of it. I love the, the leg opening of it. And also it's 100% organic cotton. So y'all already know that got your girl right there. And for me, when I see 100% organic cotton, 100% silk, 100% linen, I see that as I'm gonna have this piece forever. So that's why I'm looking at these cargos. Um, also, I love the little drawstring waist. So if you are a type of person where your weight kind of fluctuates, which I feel like most people are that way, you can adjust it with the little drawstring, you know, up and down with your weight. This pant is just like that pant that you just would wanna wear like every day in the summer and the spring and probably even in the fall. I can see this working in the fall as well. Then, y'all, I have this little pink skirt here. It's by the brand Trunk Project. I think Trunk Project is a South Korean, yeah, it's a Korean brand. And transcends generations and trends. It's bold, gender fluid styles, and cohesive looks un unencumbered by social labels, okay. So the piece that I chose by Trunk Project is actually this nylon skirt. I really love the color of it. And also, I really like how nylon looks with looks. Like, I love the texture that nylon brings in. I can see me styling this with like a, you know, a cotton t-shirt or maybe a black sweater in the fall. Also, the length of this skirt, how it's like asymmetrical. I think that little detail for it is really cool. I also like the seams. It's all in the details when it comes to this skirt. And I love pieces that wears you to the eye, like first looking at it, it looks like super basic but if you look at the little details it's like oh okay i see that little detail i see that little detail and then y'all getting into this little dree skirt i don't know i'm kind of on the edge or verge about it because yes it's a really good price it's 180 dollars for drees like insane but i don't know it's an orange skirt so i'm like for 180 dollars i don't mind it being a piece that i only wear in the spring and summer but also it's an orange skirt so i'm like how often will i really wear this which is probably not often at all. I probably wear this maybe once a month. Mainly because it's orange and I just don't want to be an orange skirt girl, you know? But yeah, it's 100% viscose, which is not bad fabric, really good fabric for the summer, super breathable. But yeah, it's an orange skirt. But anyway, this Dries shirt I think is absolutely stunning. And also it screams Dries. I feel like the color, the drapery, you can just tell it's Dries. Actually, the only way I could justify the, the Dries skirt in this top is for my birthday. And I told y'all I'm going to Europe, so I feel like that might be a little look. Like the skirt with this little top, maybe like a little black little shoe, like a little, or even white little Bottega mule. 
Hmm, look. Hmm. And then last but not least, y'all, is this Remain Burger dress. I really like this little dress here. And the reason why I like this dress is because I really want to replace my Alexander Wang dress because I really don't feel comfortable wearing Alexander Wang, you know, if you if you know, you know. I feel like I want to find a brand that gives me that same feel, but I'm not going to lie. Alexander Wang do slip dresses just superb. And I know that it's other people behind the brand, you know, it's not the manufacturer's fault, but anyway, I just can't support the brand. So I found this, this dress here and I feel like the fit the little thin straps kind of really reminds me of Alexander Wang slip dresses. And one thing about your girl, if you don't follow me on Instagram or if you're new to my channel, a slip dress is something that I really love to wear in the summertime. I just feel like it's so breezy, it's sexy without being overly sexy. Um, especially if it's like a little mini situation like this one. Yeah, I just really like how this one hugs the body. I like how they actually have it styled with a little pants underneath that's giving me ideas, showing me that you can wear it in the fall too. But yeah, I feel like for the summertime, also I like the little, what do you call it? I guess, halt, not halter, y'all, the little racer, racer front, I guess you can say. Yeah, I just think that it's a really cute little flattery dress for the summertime. So looking at this one too, and also the price, I didn't feel like it's terrible. 210 for this is really good. Cause I feel like Alexander Wayne would, would, would have probably been a little bit more than this. But yeah, y'all, that is going to end the video here. That is all that I have on my spring summer wish list so far. Let me know what you guys' favorite piece was, or if you guys have any recommendations, please, please, please let me know down in the comments. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you on Friday.